inflections versus derivations we have studied it in morphology these are very two aspects of words these are affixes right and they are added before and after a stem or a root inflections involves the formation of grammatical forms past tense present future singular plural masculine feminine neuter and so on of a single lexeme so we add certain affixes to a single lexeme and get another word a new word and this affixes is, is called this morpheme is called an inflection so we have cat and cats s is added and we get a new word new lexeme cats right so these are grammatically uh, helpful affixes they tell they tell us the grammar of the uh, word right but one thing is that they do not change the class of the the grammatical category of the word a noun remains a noun and a verb remains a verb but not in case of a derivation the use of these grammatical form is generally dictated by sentence structure what it requires thus is are and being are example of inflected forms of the lexeme be verb to be we call it verb to be so it has certain forms is or and am regular verb lexeme in english have a lexical stem which is the bare form with no affixes as select but when we make it selected we get uh, an affix and three more infected form such as sir uh, uh each with the suffix sir ed and ing these are added to a verb right third form with the s with the third form or es ed with the past and ing uh, to make a verb uh, uh present participle so these are the regular lexemes in english language noun lexemes in english have a singular and plural form adjectives adverb prepositions and other parts of speech typically have only one form in english we cannot make a uh, good goods it will change the class right good is adjective so it will remain adjective informative will remain informative informatives no right similarly we do not uh, give a plural form to adverbs and prepositions right so they don't have a uh, another lexeme inflections can be realized can be realized uh, in, in in english language through affixes as we just said through affixes they can be realized examples of words plus in, inflectional morphemes nouns wombat as ox oxen brainwash brain watches dig digs escape escaped and rain raining so these are uh, inflectional morphemes added to the verbs and made and gave, are used in different places of a sentence for different functions grammatical functions derivational involves the creation of one lexeme from another so when we add uh, or with teach we get another word lexeme which is teacher and it's another form and it is teach is a verb and now it has become teacher has become a noun so derivation change generally change the class of the word in uh, uh, whereas inflection do not change the class of the word compounding is a special type of derivation since it involves the creation of one lexeme from two or more other lexeme so we take hot and dog and make it a compound word we take green and house and make a single word greenhouse and similarly uh, we keep on making compound words with the help of uh, two lexemes like bookshop greenhouse derivation generally result in a change in lexical meaning 
or the lexical category of a particular word while inflection does not. As I just said that when we add a derivational uh, morpheme to a word, it changes the class of the word. Whereas when we change uh, an inflectional morpheme to a word, it does not change the class of the word. Though in certain uh, derivational cases, uh, the class is not changed. So, there are some examples of derivational affixes. Noun to noun, New York and New York, uh, New Yorkies, fish and fisheries, Boston and Bostonian, auto and autobiography, voice and voice president, right? Verb to verb, anti, surface, resurface, pre-register, underestimate. So, we have added uh, derivational affixes and they have not changed. Adjective to adjective, gray, grayish, immoral, subhuman, uh, human, and ill, eligible. Noun to adjective, hawk, hawkish, poison, poisonous, soul, soulful, iron, iron-like, verbs to verbs, acquit, acquittal, dig, digger, Adjectives to adverb, sad, sadly, efficient and efficiently. So we can see that uh, with derivational morphemes, we sometimes change the class and we sometimes do not change the class. The class remains the same. So uh, these are some types of the verb inflection and derivation. These are affixes which are added to words and they play some grammatical uh, role to the words, right? In some cases, they give us the meaning of a word uh, and in other cases, they change the class of the word. Inflectional morphemes do not change the class of the word, whereas derivational morpheme in most of the cases change the classes of the words. So, these are something about words.